Hi people, welcome to my channel. Today we will learn about the handbrake, how to use it and some myths. But after of all, I wanted to suggest that you subscribe to my channel. Here up, I will leave the playlist with all the driving tutorials that I have done. You look at it. If you like it, then you subscribe. The handbrake is one of the six essential parts to drive the car. The video about the six key parts to drive the car, I will leave it up. We have already seen four of those six parts. We have already seen mirrors, pedals, directional lights and rudder. We need to see handbrake and chief bar. In a not too distant video, I will be explaining how to use the chief bar. At this time, the handbrake is not on, it is down. To raise it, there are two ways. First, without sinking the little button here, we simply raise it. The first without sinking the little button here, we simply lift it up and it will have a sound when it gets up from 4 to 3 tacks when going up. The other way to upload it, for people who bother the sound when climbing, we push the button and go up. That sound is bad? No, it is not bad for the car. In fact, a, cur a curiosity is that if we raise it without the button, the handbrake gets up more. If we push the button, there is a certain point where it doesn't go up anymore. This at the time of a climb, if we leave it parked say, it will be very important because if we raise the handbrake without a bottom, he will not lift so much and when releasing the foot brake. It's likely the, that the car is so secured, as if we were pressing the bottom, then the two forms are useful, but if you ask me uh, which one I think is most effective, it is without sinking the bottom. So, what's the bottom use? It serves to lower the handbrake. If we realize, if we force down it, it will not go down. But if we sink the bottom, the handbrake, if it goes down, the bottom does not sink alone. If I try to sink the bottom, he doesn't sink. Then, how do you remove it? For the bottom to sink, you have to raise the handbrake a little. A little pressure upwards, so that the bottom sinks and leaving it held, remove the handbrake. What is the main handbrake for? For when we leave the car parked. To leave it secure, we raise the handbrake and what it does is break the rear ties. Blocking them in most cars. How to block the front ties? In a front drive, leaving the car in first gear. Interesting fact. On the board of the car, this is the handbrake indicator, at this moment I have it on and if I remove it the handbrake indicator goes off if I put it on it is activated how to know that I have the handbrake on looking on the board now the handbrake meets help stop the car no the handbrake is very ineffective when it comes to stopping the car it will not help to stop it To brake the car, it is with the brake pedal. If we use the handbrake to stop, the car will continue straight. It will slow down at some point, but braking will be very ineffective. It serves for when we climb? Yes. I will give a tutorial later to be used in the climbs. It is generally used to support us in the toughest climbs. Emergency brake? That's a lie. As I said before, it is an inefficient brake to stop the car. Finally, it serves to skid? Yes, since the rear axle of the car slides when blocking the rear tires. But the most suitable cars for this purpose are the rear wheel drive, like the Ford Mustang, Chevrolet Camaro, BMW 135i, among others. Subscribe, give me a like, look at the other videos because I have uploaded invaluable content when learning to drive a car. Remember that every Wednesday I upload new content. See you until next time. Bye.